I think the worst restriction for someone is people who find that really wants to wear something and don't dare to wear something. That's a little bit sad for every person who kind of have those restrictions on themselves. I'm from Sweden, Stockholm. I moved here four years ago to London. And I went here because I wanted to do... London was the only place which was concentrating on fashion creation to do like experimental exhibitions. We just did one in Japan that's coming to London. And then I'm also freelancing for McQueen and also especially for my old tutor, Jude Clark. And I think I was like shocked for a couple of years. Like, kind of, it took me a couple of years to really land here. Um, but just because it's so different. But what I love about London is that everyone is just embracing what they really like. I love the clashes between all the cultures. You get inspired just walking out on the street. I was sewing loads since I was little. I knew what I wanted to have when I was like three years old all the time. But then I, I don't know, I just like nice things, I think. And I like fabrics and what to do, like embroidery and something. I, I just think it's curious about all people. And I don't think that everyone that's an artist need to dress yeah. well. It, I don't mind. It's like if you like fashion, yeah, then it's fun if you have fun doing it. I buy clothes and I, I could have them in my wardrobe for years and I can't. And it's, no, I don't know when I'm going to use them, but then I, one day it might come. Something about the not beautiful things as well that are really interesting. This one we bought in a market in Japan I was there doing the exhibition. And this one is a really old pair of arms. I found this in a really amazing Indian shop. I'm wearing my mum's necklaces again. I think I kind of went away from the more commercial part of the fashion system when I was going to the markets. And after that, I find it really hard to go into a store and buy like something that's been mass produced in those quantities. It feels like I'm peeking into the future through other designers' work because I haven't the opportunity to always do research about avant garde pieces because that's what I'm specialised in also doing like exhibition design and for me to start it because I used to design before and then it was always about the body and how like fabrics relate to the body mm. but then when it comes to exhibitions it's more like I can work with the whole space and see how the body interacts with other like the whole space and the other objects inside of the space it's really interesting how like continue to work with clothes but in a different context for me it's fashion is experimental fashion is just another side of the spectra. It's not that I'm against like the commercial part of the fashion yeah. system, it's just that I kind of, I just love things that surprise me or that makes me really happy or like make me think a little bit more.